Welcome to Let's Calculate Something. Today we have a pretty interesting practical problem where we're going to use Newton's law of cooling to predict the temperature of a cup of coffee. Okay? We start out with a cup of coffee at 150 degrees Fahrenheit and we're sitting, we have that cup sitting in 70 degree ambient temperature. Okay? And Newton's law of cooling is defined by this equation. It's an exponential equation and it goes along with that graph. So we'll walk through things. So this is Newton's law of law of cooling. You can tell that this is going to start at some temperature and drop down to an ambient temperature and it's exponential in its form. So we have some information with the problem. We know that at time zero the temperature is 150. We also know that uh, the temperature is 120 after five minutes. So those would be very important for us to be able to figure out our constants which are A and K. A is the heat transfer constant surrounding the surface area of this cup, the thickness of the walls, um, maybe how much air might be flowing over that from air conditioning in the room, whatever factors are determining the temperature at, um, surrounding how quickly the temperature will go down, they're all lumped into that A constant. And this K constant is the exponential coefficient. You notice this is a negative exponent, that's why it's dropping down like that. Um, that is going to be the rate of change of temperature with time, okay? So we're going to have to figure out both of these constants, and once we do, then we can predict when will the temperature be 100, that's 1, and then when will the temperature come down to about ambient, where, you know, after 100, you may not want to drink the coffee anymore, and you may, or you may want to heat it up. How much time do you have before you're going to need to do that? That's what we're going to figure out. And then how much time before you're going to throw the coffee away, because nobody wants to drink room temperature coffee. All right, so let's get into it. So now that we've got the initial part of the problem explained, let's go solve for some variables. We've got to find this A, and we have enough information to do that. We're going to leverage the fact that we know that the initial temperature was 150 at time zero, okay? So if we take 150 equals A times E to the minus K of zero, because that's our time, plus 70, we can now solve for A. Why can we do that? Because we know that this is e to the, to the zeroth power is 1. So we have 150 equals A plus 70. We subtract 70 from both sides, and we get A equals 80. Okay, so let's write that right here. A equals 80. We're going to need that later. Now, Let's use the second piece of information we have, that the time at five minutes, the temperature is 120 degrees. So we can use that to solve for K. So we know the temperature is 120 at 80 times E to the minus K time, times time, but we know that that in this case is five minutes okay and then we're going to add the 70 degree ambient temperature so we have 50 equals 80 e to the minus 5k okay and now we're going to divide that through so we get 50 divided by 80 equals e to the minus 5k, okay? Now, we get to solve this with logarithms. So we take the log of both sides, and that's the log of 5 eighths, equals minus 5k. So if we bring this up, okay, we have the log of 0.625, equals minus 5k. And the log of, my, of, of um, 0.625 on my little cheat sheet here is minus 0.47. And we're going to divide by minus 5. And that equals k. So k equals 0 0.094. And you can check that math if you like. Um, that is the, the K. So now we're going to write this here. K equals 
0 0.094. So let me erase this and then we'll get back into the problem. We've got both of our variables, so we have the equation fully defined now. And so we can go in and add the 100 degree and figure out when, when that temperature will be, um, what, how long it will take to get that temperature. Then we can figure out for 70 degree how long that will take. Okay, we'll be right back. Welcome back. So here we are. We've, we've got our, our constants into the equation. I took them from here and I moved them up into the equation here so you could see them. And now we're going to get to business. We're going to try to figure out this first time of when the, the coffee will reach 100 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. So we'll plug in 100 here. That's our T. And we have 80 E to the minus 0 0.094 times time plus 70. And so what we have to do is we have to find this time. That's what we need to know. Okay. So the way we're going to solve this is very similar to the way we found the K before. We're going to, we're going to go ahead and subtract 70 from both sides. We get 30 equals 80 E to the minus 0 0.094 T. We'll divide by 80 and we'll get, and then we're going to, we're going to just factor out a 10, right? Uh, so we're going to get 3 eighths equals E to the minus 0 0.094 T. And the way we solve this is we use logarithms. So we're going to use the natural log of 3 eighths equals 0 0.094 minus t. This value here is um, minus 0.98 equals minus 0 0.094 t. So t equals 10.4 minutes. So we had we had all of these constants were worked with minutes, so we know this comes out to be minutes. And that's our answer. So the first one, this question here, let's write that one in red. That is 10.4 minutes. So after 10.4 minutes, it's down to 100. After 5 minutes, it was um, down to 120. So you can see the temperature is slower, slowing down because the difference between the ambient temperature and the temperature of the coffee is getting smaller, so that means it's slowly, slowly cool, it cools slower and slower. Okay, so now if we want to get to 70 degrees, it's quite interesting because if you look, if we have we have 70 here, we if we put 70 over there, how are we going to find this T? Because this is going to be zero, and so that is infinity for T. So technically, it'll never, it'll, it'll take forever. It'll actually become the room temperature, but this equation kind of breaks down on the bound. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this 71 degrees. So let's go find the temperature if this is 71. Okay? So let's work over here. So we have 71 equals 80 E to the minus 0 0.094 T plus 70. So if we take the 70 over here, we have 1 divided by 80 equals e to the minus 0 0.094 t. Take the log of both sides, the log of 1 over 80 equals minus 0 0.094 t. And so I'll be right back. I'm going to calculate what the log of 1 over 80 is, and I'll fill it in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and calculated the log of 1 over 80, and that turns out to be minus 0.4382. So if we divide that by our constant, 0 0.094, we get the temperature equals 46, the time equals 46.6 minutes. Okay, and that's our answer. So, up here, 46.6 is our answer for how long it'll be approximately the same temperature as the room. 
Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Click the notification bell so you can be alerted to when we put out new videos. Um, go into the like the video. Go into the comments. Leave us a comment. Give us some feedback. Suggest other problems you'd like us to solve. If we solve your problem in a video, we'll give you credit for it. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.